Let me show you how you can draft a notice for commencement of arbitration proceedings by using Google Bar. Imagine that company A takes up a real estate development project from company B. Company B has certain stipulated conditions that the material procurement by company A should be only done by pre-approved suppliers or only specific engineers should work on the project. Company A does follow this. However, in return, the other people do not cooperate with company A. This results in delay of the project. Now, due to default on part of company B, company A also incurs higher costs for labor, for material procurement, and of course, the project also gets delayed due to non-cooperation. Because of this, company B imposes damages on company A because they have delayed the project. However, company A wants to contest this. It's not fair for them. Company A also wants to claim compensation for the escalated cost in procurement of labor and material. Now, the parties do try to work it out through negotiations, but fail. Now, if company A approaches you to commence arbitration proceedings against company B, how can you help and what can you do in this situation? Let me tell you. The first thing that you should do is to send out a notice for arbitration as per Section 21 for Arbitration and Conciliation Act. However, before that, you must abide by the preconditions in the original agreement. This could be that the parties send out a notice for performance of the contract, or it could be that the parties should negotiate or try to amicably settle the matter amongst themselves before they go to arbitration. Now, all these preconditions as existing in the original agreement should be satisfied before you move forward for notice of commencement. But before you learn how to draft a notice for commencement, it is necessary to understand the essentials in the notice. What is it that you should incorporate in such a notice? The first thing that you should do in a section 21 notice is to make a demand for arbitration. Here, your intent to refer the dispute to arbitration is very necessary. Other specific details of the parties, their phone numbers, their email IDs should also be present. Very important is to include and in fact reproduce a copy of the arbitration clause that exists between the parties through which you are going ahead and invoking the notice. The next thing to do is to give out a reference out of which the dispute is arising. Here you see the delay on part of the party to complete the project, the escalated costs and the liquidated damages that are uh, imposed upon company A are of reference. So you should ideally reproduce them. You should also, in fact, include a description of the claim and the facts that support your case. And if the parties have pre-decided on the number of arbitrators, the seat of arbitration, the language of arbitration, you should mention it that as well. Once you've followed all the essentials, you're ready to draft a notice for commencement for proceedings under Section 21 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act. But how can you do it using Google Bard? Let me show you and let's dive right into it. I've given a set of fact situations to Google Bard. It is about a company named Real Estate Development Board and another company named Greenfield Developers Private Limited. Now, what is the background of the situation that REDB as a company has invited tenders for a real estate project? Greenfield Developers emerges as a successful bidder and starts commencing the project. Like I told you in the starting of the video, there were certain specific conditions that REDB imposed upon Greenfield. What was those conditions? The raw material had to be procured for the project was to be done from an approved supplier. Written approval was also to be obtained from REDV for any change in the supplier or the quality in material. The entire project was also to be completed upon the agreed timeline, which was two years from the date of the agreement with specified milestones for different stages of development. All these conditions have to be abided by the company named Greenfield in order to be successful in the contract. During the project, Greenfield, of course, took up the project. It coordinated with the suppliers for procurement of the material. However, there was non-cooperation on part of suppliers. It says that the supplier says that the company is incorporated in Chennai and there is delay at its end to supply the material. All of this has ultimately led to delay in the project. They agreed to extend the timeline of the project as against October 2021, they agreed to extend the timeline of the project to 10th of October 2022. 
However, because of non-cooperation from part of suppliers and other parties involved, Greenfield could not adhere to the revised timeline as well. Instead of the extended timeline of 10th of October 22, the project got completed on 10th of May 2023. This resulted in delay of the project. As per the agreement, there was a liquidated damages clause, there was a penalty clause as well, and of course, there was a dispute between the parties. Company A wanted to contest that there is delay because of fault of suppliers and other parties of Company B, and Company B wants to say that Company A has delayed the project. This has led to dispute between the parties. As a result, Greenfield, the party who is supposed to complete the project, they want to initiate arbitration. I have given a comprehensive fact situation to begin with so that BARD gets appropriate information and incorporates them in the notice. What am I asking BARD to do? Based on the above fact situation, act as a lawyer and draft a comprehensive and complete notice for commencement of arbitral proceedings under Section 21 of the Act. But I have still asked BARD to ask me questions so that it gets more information. So I have said, ask me five relevant questions, which will enable you to draft a comprehensive notice and then draft the notice. Now, BARD has, based on the fact situation, asked me a couple of questions. So it has told me what is the specific agreement in the clause? What are the claims that we are making against our ADV? Then it talks about arbitral tribunal composition. So whether we're referring the matter to a sole arbitrator or a panel, what is the relief that we are claiming in this notice? And do we have additional documents? I have done one thing here, which is very important for you to also do while you're drafting the notice. He did ask me for specific contract clauses. I have reproduced the exact clause which existed between the parties. All disputes which arise from the agreement between Greenfield and RTDB should be settled through arbitration at so-and-so place, so-and-so timeline. We need to reproduce this while we are drafting the notice as well. So you better give out the prompt to BARD as well in this. What are the claims that we are making? So I have given down details that we are claiming uh, payments towards escalated clause. And I have also gone forward and reproduced the price escalation cause that was there in the agreement. I have further gone forward and reproduced a non-default clause that existed between the parties. That if there is delay in the project, which is directly attributable to the fault of the other party, then company A is not going to pay anything. So I've reproduced that to help me draft the notice in a better way. I have done that here. Then it talks about arbitral tribunal composition. So I have mentioned that we want to refer it to the sole arbitrator. I've just given a hypothetical name who is a retired justice of Delhi High Court. This is all hypothetical in nature as the sole arbitrator. I have also spoken about the relief sought that Greenfield wants to seek compensation to the amount of 2 crore 40 lakh. It represents the liquidated damages which REDB is wanting to impose upon us. And we want to claim an additional amount of 1 crore 92 lakhs for escalation costs due to the default on part of the other party. Do we have any additional documents? Yes. So the money that we've paid towards additional labor costs, material procurement, and all other things which have led to escalated costs, we've given details of that as well. Now, based on this alone, BARD has given me a draft notice. Let's see how that looks like. So it's given me a heading to a so-and-so. The date of the notice is important. Subject, notice for commencement of arbitral proceedings under section 21. So subject is perfect here. Dear sir, madam, so-and-so. So it's saying we Greenfield developers. I'll change that. It does give me headings, which I would ideally not have in a notice. So there will be certain edits. I don't want it to be in pointers, right? And I, of course, would not want the relief sort part in the notice as well. What I've done is, I have gone forward and given more prompts. You see the chronology of the prompts and the precision in the prompts that you need to use while you're drafting the notice. I said, based on this information, make a comprehensive notice and I have given instructions to draft as a notice. Whenever you want a legal document done, you should ask BARD or chat GBD, whatever you use to act as a lawyer. You can also give instructions on language. So I've instructed that you use professional and legal language. I have also emphasized on the fact that there is no need for headings. 
For the format, I have given a chronology on how I would like the format to be. So the mode of delivery of notice, the date, addressing name, subject. Then I have also told it to introduce Greenfield as my client because I am representing Greenfield here. Other relevant instructions, I have said that you have to introduce with a statement that these are under the instructions and authority of my client, which is Greenfield Private Limited. That's how you would start off any notice. And I have also instructed it to speak about the facts in chronological order. So where the party signed the agreement, which date, and for what purpose, the timelines. And then a paragraph about how the dispute arose with relevant reference to dates and the attempts made. I have asked it to reproduce the clauses as well because that's essential when you draft such a notice. And what are the steps that we had taken pre the notice and appointment of arbitrator. So all essentials that I spoke about should be covered in the notice. Based on this, I have a draft, but there are headings given here. So this is a comprehensive draft that I have received. However, I wanted to reproduce the clauses, which it has not done till now. After my final prompt, Bart does not give me the other details that should be there in a notice, such as the heading of the notice, the date, the addressy details, etc. It just starts off with the body of the notice. Sometimes this may happen. What you should do, you should compile everything in one document like I have done because Bart did give me all of these details earlier. So you just need to sometimes take bits and pieces from the prompts that Bart is giving you. And let me show you how I have compiled this document. So I have taken the first part of which Bart gave me about the mode of service of notice, the date of the notice, the addressy details, and the subject. I have also copy pasted the line where it says that it is being done under the instructions and authority of my client. And you see the last prompt here speaks about on October so and so. It starts from this date and I have copy pasted the entire thing into one document together. So sometimes this may happen that Bard is not giving you the complete document together. You should take up bits and pieces of the responses of draft and compile everything into one document like I have done. This looks like a wonderful notice. You can definitely use it. It saves up on time and is very efficient as well. The language that is used in this notice is also really great. So try it and let me know how it goes for you.